Moments of crisis bring out both the best and the worst in human nature. While it's easy to become discouraged, there are signs of hope all around us, with ordinary people rising to the challenge of these days with little acts of selfless love. A concerned phone call to an elderly relative, a bag of essential supplies for neighbours unable to get out, and whole communities finding creative ways of coming together when we can't leave our houses. The story of Father Giuseppe Berardelli is a bit more dramatic than most. He was the parish priest of a little town of Casnigo near Bergamo. Aged 72, he travelled everywhere on his trusty old motorbike and greeted everyone he met with a ready smile and a friendly word. When he was admitted to hospital, suffering from the coronavirus, it was rumoured that he gave away his ventilator so he could save the life of a younger man whom Father Giuseppe had never met. What we do know is that he was buried, much loved, but without even a funeral. His story reminds me of another priest from another era, Maximilian Colby. Imprisoned in Auschwitz concentration camp, Colby saved a fellow prisoner about to be executed by offering to take his place. When he was officially recognised as a saint, the Pope called him a martyr of love and the patron saint of a difficult century. Who knows whether Father Giuseppe was a saint, but in a way, it doesn't matter. Stories of people like him and Colby provide inspiration and hope for people all across the world. And maybe the ventilator we give to our neighbour will be an encouraging word, a good meal or some help with the homework. Maybe our martyrdom will simply be to stay indoors and suffer this difficult season with patience. If Father Giuseppe is in heaven, I'm sure he'll help us out with a prayer or two. May he rest in peace and may you all keep each other safe.